हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम डॉक्टर डी टी सावन फ्रॉम जे टी आर्ट्स साइंस एंड कॉमर्स कॉलेज और उमेन मालेगांव डिस्ट्रिक्ट नासिक टूडेज टॉपिक दैट इज ए प्रेफरेंस इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक थेरी एज ए इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिज्म वेन वी डिफाइन टू दिस दैट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड मैग्नेटिज्म are different facets of electromagnetism a moving electric charge produces magnetic fields changing magnetic fields move electric charges as in 1942 hans alfen assumed that in the past the sun was rotating faster than now it then happened to plunge itself into a nebula in which the atoms were originally electrically neutral as the atoms were pulled by the gravitational attraction of the sun they were ionized or electrically charged such ionization extended in the sun's envelope of atoms into planetary distances then alfen applied the behavior of electrically charged particles in a magnetic field and showed that matter would gather largely in the equatorial plane of the sun at such distances which can now be compared with the distances of jupiter and saturn this matter would revolve around the sun and one of its effect would be to retard the rotation of the sun so later the gases and other atoms condense into large planets it is believed that jupiter having its own magnetic field behaved in the same way as the sun with regard to the surrounding matter and jupiter's satellites were formed and hence the magnetic field of the sun is the basis of this theory the electromagnetic force is far more powerful than the gravitational force the ratio of former to the later on a proportion pro, proton in the orbit of the earth is 60000 s to 1 it is 250 s to 1 on a proton in pluto's orbit as a, this is the connection which is a elucidated dated by faraday maxwell Einstein show electricity and magnetism as frame dependent facets of unified electromagnetic force as a magnetic fields are from electricity a static distribution of charges produces a electric field which can be charges and in motion as a electrical current produces a magnetic field which is shown in this diagram and here's the electric current is an example of charges as the electrons in motion as electromagnets arranging wire in a coil and running a current through produces a magnetic field that looks a lot like a bar magnet called an electromagnet putting a real magnet inside can show the magnet back and forth depending on current direction called a solenoid as the such a catalysmic theories mostly have historical value and are indicative of the lines of the thinking of the origin of the solar system in the light of the knowledge which was available at the time of propounding a particular theory and with a view to meeting objections against pre-existing theories as uh, there was no need of assuming a molten earth the earth grew bit by bit by accretion of planetesimal matter when the mass of the earth become con- contains and co- compacted it develop internal heat 
this created pockets of melting subsequently there was differentiation of a metallic core and a stony outer crust thus the constraints of the atmosphere and oceans also originated from the planetesimal and hence the basis of the hypothesis is the passing star close to the sun has a sufficiently high speed in order that matter may be drawn out from the sun the passing star must have come within a distance of the sun not more than the diameter of the two stars themselves so the hypothesis has been built on a catastrophic and extraordinary event it is unreasonable to base any concrete scientific hypothesis on such event so induced current the next part of the story is that a changing magnetic field produces an electric current in loop surrounding the field so which is called as electromagnetic induction uh, which was given by the faraday so according to this uh, tidal hypothesis and solar solar system has been formed as a result of the coming together of the sun and other passing stars a huge uh, star many times bigger than the sun and even happen to pass close to the sun so the restriction of some uh, same process under the influence of the gravitational attraction of the sun and the possibility also of the passing star some materials further got separated from the planets and condensed to form the satellites as a, there is a electromagnetic condition uh, first point which to be discussed is that a changing magnetic field produces an electric field and changing electric field produces a magnetic field second one is that electric and magnetic fields can produce force on charges third one is a, an accelerating charge produces electromagnetic waves means the radiation number fourth one that is a both electric and magnetic fields can transport energy as electric field energy used in electrical circuits for example released in lightning and next one that is magnetic field carries energy through transformer as a electromagnetic radiations those are interrelated to electric and magnetic fields which are traveling through the space and all electromagnetic radiations travel at c is equal to 3 into 10 raised to 8 m by s in vacuum this is a cosmic speed in limit thus the main drop of drawback however been removed it related to the great distance to which the uh, magnetic field is thrown at the center of the nebula and hence this is a uh, one of the discussion which we have seen so thank you thank you very much